Hey everybody, doing a quick intro on a Venue Trend Urban Edition. So this is the Cosmic Grey with the yellow roof. Pretty sharp looking vehicle. Uh, coming to the back of the vehicle. Um, can open up the back. This uh, lady decided to take a cargo tray with the vehicle. Great idea. Just to show you how this works here. If you uh, are not in need of the privacy cover and you want to put something that's bigger in there, pop it up a little bit. Slide her away. I'm gonna bring it back up. You can, we'll leave it down for now. I'll just show you. <coughs> Spare tires here. You can bring the um, this board down to here, okay, if you do want to. Uh, it gives you about four inches more space uh, and allows you a little bit more room. Here's where your 60-40 split works from and the opposite is over here. So the Urban Edition does come with a proximity key. Um, you got lots of space in the back. Proximity key. So from here Hit it once, locks everything up. Hit it once, unlocks just the driver's door. Lock, one, two, everything's unlocked. So jump in the car. Um, here's your window locks, here's your rear windows, this is your front windows, your driver's window is automatic. Lock and unlock features, mirror functions, and then adjust, flick to the right, adjust. There's your gas door opener, your seat. So that's to bring it up, bring it down, you recline, and then to roll the seat forward. Jumping into the vehicle, um, you have your dashboard lighting here, your traction control here. Suggestion that you uh, do not turn off your traction control unless you are stuck. And there's your dashboard lighting, plus minus. Auto lights are right here. Uh, automatically turns on the lights, automatically turns off the lights. Let's turn that on to demonstrate. So there's your auto lights, and here I'll show you where we're going. If I turn the high beams on, um, it will tell you that the, they don't need to be on. But here, if I flash somebody, they do show that they are on. If I bring it up to the regular daytime running lights, high beams are on, high beams are off, regular lights. But just leave it in auto, and when it is dark out, you push forward to bring it into high beam. It will work as per high beam lights. Speed control function, so this works whenever you have your phone connected with a Cofax cord from here to your phone, iPhone, or Android, um, which will allow you to work with um, Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. Mode is going to take you from turn the volume FM to AM radio. This is your volume control. Pushing straight on it is your mute. These are your presets. So you have approximately um, 40 presets that you can work with. Now, if you've only selected six on the presets, it'll only go through those six. There's your radio, select that, brings up the radio, and notice here there's your presets. So if I wanted to put 94.5 on here, or sorry, 104.5, our local radio station, or 101.9, <laughs> and notice you can do FM and AM on this. So, that takes care of all this. These here options, this row right here, is going through your user settings, which you'll see here. So this toggles up and down through them. This is to select OK. So, we'll start right here, and I'm just gonna toggle these first until I'm done this with this menu screen, then I'm gonna hit this, and I'm gonna to go to the next screen. So there we are, we have the, we're at 6.4 liters per 100. Um, toggle down. It's going to tell me my accumulated trip information, so I'm going to hit and hold the OK button. Toggle down again, it's my trip information from today. 
hit the OK button, and there's my second speedometer. So toggled up, back to my home screen. I'll reset everything so that the client can start from zero. Off to the next. So this is my drive display. So tire pressure is not displaying right now because it's not driving. Now I would drive whenever you are driving, it'll show. Uh, toggle down, toggle up, nothing there. So off to the next is all my user settings. So my driver assistance settings, warning timing is normal. <coughs> um, blind spot safety is on and it's warning only. Parking safety is my rear cross traffic alert. So if I'm backing out of a parking spot, it will tell me if there's um, a car coming or going, okay? Or part driving out of a, uh, backing out of a driveway. These are my door options. So the door is automatically locked the minute you put it in drive. The door is automatically unlocked the minute you put it in park. There is a two press unlock option. That's for the key fob and for the uh, proximity key feature on the door. Lights automatically, the headlights automatically stay on for approximately 30 seconds after you turn off the vehicle. The one touch turn signal is here. So, sorry don't pull it all the way down it flashes three times by law you have to flash three times or signal three times before you change lanes at this option you can go from three to five to seven if you decide to change it or turn it off of course convenience so that's everything that's showing up here in this menu so the wiper lights and display are all go to display there the rear wiper will display there if we have that checked off. The gear position, icy road warning as well. So the icy road warning is at 4 degrees Celsius or cooler. It will display. So just to go over the wipers right here. So toggle down once is your intermittent speed control. This is your speeds for your intermittent speed as you can tell there too. Okay. Um, down again is low. Down again is high. So bring that back up and into the off position. The rear wipers right here. Low and high and then off. So, so that's all there. Okay, we'll go back. Service interval, we'll set it up. We set up for every 6,000 kilometers or six months, depending whichever you hit first. save other options so there's your fuel economy resets after every time you fill up the gas tank speed unit you can change it from kilometers to miles per hour fuel economy unit is in liters per hundred and temperature unit you can adjust from celsius to fahrenheit Tire pressure unit are in PSI. You have the option to be KPA or bar as well. Languages, you can be French, English, Spanish, or Korean. Reset will reset the factory settings. So we'll go back to our home menu. There we are. Everything's good to go. Now we're going to go over to the cluster or our media system. Um, notice here right now the radio is off. There's nothing connected for the phone. If you did have the radio going, um, it would show up as so. And a connected phone would show up here, along with the Android and or Apple CarPlay if you have it connected here. So just turn it off. Um, here's your all menus. So there's your phone option. Uh, this will allow you to do whatever you want to do. If you want to call or whatnot, it gives you those options. <coughs> on the home screen it will show up the phone whenever it is connected there's a user's manual that you can uh, use the QR code to download it onto your phone you will have a user's manual in here as well just so you're familiar um, voice memo so these, you have um, a memo that you can save recordings to allow yourself to remind you of whatever you need to do Radio is here. You also have that here. Media is going to play from your phone or MP3 player or uh, um, 
um, any memory stick that you might have plugged in here or an iPod. Uh, media is also here. Setup is there and here. And that's everything there. So there's your phone options. Media is off. There's setup. So go to setup. So there's your device connection. So this is where you would connect your cell phone. You could connect up to five different phones. There's your Apple and Android CarPlay. So it's enabled. Apple's also enabled. Advanced. So this is your star button, which is here. Uh, you can use any of these options for your star button. Steering wheel modes. So all these options work in here. Okay. Home screen. That's your home screen right now, but you can adjust it if you want. If you want to edit a widget, you can. Media change notifications will display on the top. And then extend camera use. So whenever you are backing up, um, if you extend the camera use, it will show you the backup option for a little bit longer while you put it into uh, front wheel drive or going forward. Um, advanced, so we've already gone through that, sorry. General, so this is your GPS time, so this is where you would change your time if you wanted to. So right now we are at 11.22. So, and today is the 27th, let's see here, what date do we have? Today's August 27th, and it is 11.22. Then we'll save that. So there you go, you changed it. If you selected the GPS, it would automatically go to the GPS time, which, well, it's telling me is 11.23 right now. So you're in the eastern zone. We have daylight savings time working. Language is in English, but you have options for French, Spanish, Korean. And yes, keyboards. There is an English QWERTY keyboard and an alphabetical. There is a default keyboard with different languages. Uh, English, Latin, English, French, Spanish, and Korean. Screensaver, right now you have none. You can also have the option of a digital clock or an analog. Um, highly recommend if you're doing long distance driving to maybe use one of these options. System info, so this is all your update info. If you wanted to update the vehicle, you go to Hyundai Canada, you take a memory stick, you plug it into your computer, and you search for venue, 2020 venue updates. You would download it onto the memory stick, plug it in here, hit update. So there's your storage, you have 128 megabytes for your voice memo, there's your uh, user manual, and then reset will reset all the factory settings. Sound system, so speed dependent volume, you check that off, the faster you go, the higher the volume goes. There's your position, you can adjust anywhere, center, boom. Volume, your sound system, so there's your ringtone, your beep, and then your voice prompts. Phone projection, there's your Android and Apple CarPlay voice. Tone, there's your bass, middle, treble, and range. Priority, so proximity warning, when you're backing up, the volume of the vehicle will go down. And same goes whenever you start up the vehicle, just so you can hear everything. And then reset, well, we don't want to reset everything. Display options. So there's your illumination for the screen here. Uh, you can just use automatic or you can adjust if you'd like. Right now it is centered. The blue filter is on the minus part option. You can adjust and then allow it if you want. And then reset brings it back to factory settings. Display, we've done that home. Radio, media, seek, track, star button, and setup, which we've all gone through. There's your volume control for your radio. This is your tune button. Hazard lights. This is your different type of heat. Recycle air button with the different fan speeds. There's your rear to frost. And there is your different options, again, for your ventilation. Your shifter. So, put it in drive. Notice there it's in drive, and up here that it's in drive. 
pull this over at Shiftronic, goes into gear one. I can't, so whenever you toggle up and down, whenever you are driving, that would shift it from gear one to two, three, and then minus if you were going back. Back into drive, and then back up into park. Heated seats, heated seats, heated steering wheel, drive mode. So if I turn this, it goes to normal, turn it again, sport, turn it again, snow. So in the conditions that we're in today, normal would be the best option. If you, uh, this is going to save you the most amount of gas. It's going to gear you up quicker. If you're in sport mode, sport mode is lower RPMs, more gas consumption, and but you will have more power in the vehicle. You will be able to pull away a little bit quicker, um, and it will have a little more gumption in the vehicle. But uh, in most cases, you're going to do normal. If it is a snowy day, of course, snow mode works as well. And folks, that's everything. You got some space in the uh, up here. You have some additional space in the glove box. <coughs> Under the armrest, you have some space there. Cup holders are there. There's some more cup holders here in both uh, both doors and in the rear doors as well. Folks, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to give me a call. 613-933-8135 is the number at the dealership. And if uh, you need anything, yeah, I'm always here for you, as well as the staff here at Seaway Hyundai. Cheers. Thank you.